Hello, this is Eugene Peterson for Noble Desktop. In this, the third of three tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use the Adobe Illustrator Graph Tool, focusing on export to Adobe After Effects, Maxon Cinema 4D, and Maxon Cinema 4D Lite. Adobe Illustrator Graph Tool, export to After Effects and Cinema 4D. Adobe Illustrator Graph Tool, export to After Effects, Cinema 4D Lite, and Cinema 4D full version. Introduction. Exporting your finished chart to Adobe After Effects or Cinema 4D is easy. We'll look at importing an Illustrator graph into After Effects, Cinema 4D Lite, which is bundled with Creative Cloud, and Cinema 4D the full version. FYI, charts can be created natively and animated in both After Effects and Cinema 4D also is an option. Exporting an Illustrator chart to After Effects. If your design calls for a static chart in After Effects, exporting the graph as is will work. So here's our graph in Illustrator. We'll import it as is into After Effects, import as footage. This can be animated in After Effects as is. So we can certainly move the position we can rotate and we can also scale whatever can be animated as a whole. As most charts in After Effects are animated, we will need to break apart the graph object and place each component object on its own named layer. So the best practice is to duplicate the graph object before breaking apart so that you will still have access to the data sheet link if you need to edit the graph values later. So we'll take our graph object and duplicate it. Here's our copy for safekeeping. And we'll take the other graph object and break it apart by ungrouping. So I'm going to delete some extraneous four paths. We'll select layer one and in the layers palette to layers sequence. And we have four layers. So we'll delete that. Okay, so now we have our four pie slices, two, three, four, and five, and this will save as and now this is ready to be imported into After Effects. So back in After Effects, we'll import the file we just created. However, when we import as, rather than as footage, which imports it as one layer, we'll do composition retain layer sizes. So your layout will look exactly the way it did in Illustrator. Okay. I'll just change the background color so we can see it a little better. And here's our pie. Notice we have the four layers. A best practice is to continuously rasterize so that the shapes always look crisp. These are now independent objects. Also something to note is that the, the anchor point is in the center of the shape. So if you're animating from the center, you may want to move the anchor point and that way it'll rotate around the center. Now, once you have independent layers, one thing you could do is work with textures and using the Illustrator objects as masks. So I'll import a pattern. So 
So having imported my texture, I'll add it to the timeline. And mask it onto layer two. And there we go. We could end up with something like this. Exporting an Illustrator graph to Cinema 4D. Seems like importing into Cinema 4D may be a little easier than After Effects. Also, you have same as After Effects options once you're in Cinema 4D. So in Cinema 4D, we'll go to the Generator menu and choose Vector Import. We'll link up our file to start. Okay, we'll zoom in a little bit. And we'll add some extrude. Now this is a live link to Illustrator. So if we go to Illustrator and let's make this a little darker, 100%, and we'll save. We'll click this reset button. And there we go, there's our change. So this is a live link, you can change colors, you can change your data. So first, a few pros and cons about this uh, vector import. This is, given that it's a linked file, this is locked. You have some options. You don't have as many options as if you break this apart, which we'll do a little later. So I'll just do a quick uh, set up here. So we'll animate layer offset and path spread. We'll go to the beginning and minus 157. And for path, we'll do 115. And we'll keyframe this. Very nice, uh, an assembly type animation. Let's do what we described before. We'll break this vector import into objects. So right-clicking, we'll go to current state to object. And this we actually don't need anymore for right now. And we have our four splines, one for each object. So I can move this out. A little layer hygiene here. Notice also that the animation has also broken away. It's no longer attached to these objects. So for all four of these, let's do a quick animation. Set on the z-axis. Okay. So let's do the first one positive, z positive. And this one, Z negative. Go again, positive. And last one, negative. All right. So we have a little more flexibility. And if we add a little bit of color, we have a very nice animation. Exporting an Illustrator graph into Cinema 4D Lite. This is a little different uh, workflow for Cinema 4D, and uh, it involves saving the Illustrator file in a save down version. We're gonna save down to version eight. Okay. Once in Cinema 4D, we have the option to merge the project. Okay, and we have our four paths. These are paths, they have no geometry. So we have to add an extrude object to each one of these paths. OK, 
okay. And then, as we saw before, we could animate each one of these individually. And that's all there is to it. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use the Adobe Illustrator Graph Tool. This has been Eugene Peterson for Noble Desktop.